भीम क्यू आर कोड यू पी आई आधार पे यू एस एस डी आई कुड गो ऑन एंड ऑन येस द एरा ऑफ डिजिटल पेमेंट हैज रियली टेकन ऑफ थैंक्स टू डी मोनिटाइजेशन द गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल्सो पुर इट्स इंटायर वेट बिहाइंड दिस रेवोल्यूशन बट वन वुड हैव टू से विद द टेक्नोलॉजी एवर चेंजिंग द नंबर ऑफ एप्स कमिंग अप ऑलमोस्ट ऑन अ डेली बेसिस इट कैन गेट अ लिटल डॉन थिंग एंड इट कैन लीव पीपल लाइक यू एंड मी द कंज्यूमर्स स्लाइटली कन्फ्यूज विच इज वाई वी थॉट इट्स अ गुड आइडिया टू डू अ डिजिटल पेमेंट्स क्लास रूम ऑन मनी 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 दिस वीक Welcome to the show. I'm Surabhi Upadhyay, and joining me today would be two guests. I have Vivek Belgavi, who is partner of fintech at PwC, right here with me. And in just a while, we'll also have a representative from IDFC Bank joining in to talk about how they're taking this whole digital payment uh, slide forward. Vivek, welcome to the show. Thanks, Surabhi. Uh, as you just heard me say in the intro, you know this is from personal experience, right? Yeah. The, the moment you start getting comfortable with one technology, start understanding one thing, something new comes up. Yep. How do you sum up the landscape as we see it today? Well, it's great that as a customer, I got so many options, mm -hmm. and uh, I think we are on a journey where it's just going to get better. Uh, so, while for peer-to-peer -peer transfer, as we call it, when I want to send you money, you need to send me money. There are multiple options, simpler options now. UPI would be the starting one. Mm -hmm. Bhim is something which NPCI started to make it simpler. Mm -hmm. It's a neutral app. Anyone, any bank can download Bhim and start using it. Mm -hmm. If I am a bank, I am a customer of a bank. The bank has also launched a few UPI-enabled apps. Correct. Then there are wallets which I can now use. There are QR codes which are available for merchants, yeah. especially, yeah. so that I can go and transact at merchants. Uh, now, Aadhaar is an important push for the country. Especially, a lot of beneficiary transactions happen through Aadhaar. Everyone has Aadhaar. Hmm. So, can I use Aadhaar and payments? So, I think these are the two, three, four mechanisms. Hmm. But I do think for different scenarios, some options will work better than the others. But as customers, I think it is a fantastic situation to be in. That's exactly the point. I mean, how to know what is right and what is wrong. I mean, we did uh, sort of a couple of months back, just when demonetization happened, we did spend some time with Axis Bank and we did an experiment with yeah, UPI. I this, yeah. How has UPI really taken off? I mean, as you see it in the industry, as you see more and more banks offering UPI as part of their, you know, mobile banking apps, has it sort of moved the way it was intended? I, I do think. I mean, there are two ways to look at it. One is. From the time it got launched in November, it was pretty well timed that way. Hmm. Uh, there was a there is a pretty quick uh, there is a pretty quick uptick uh, from that time onto onto the point till now. Uh, but with regard to what could be the art of the possible, and uh, how how much more adoption could happen, I think there we still have a lot more steps to cover. Uh, okay. So, so on one side, you would think that yes, the adoption in the short span of time has been great, hmm. but again, because we had normal transactions, uh, wallets, etc., into fray, hmm. you start comparing against them, it still pales. So, okay. I think there's still a lot more ground to cover. Okay, Vivek. So we're calling this the classroom. So I'm straight away going to get down to the lecture sure. and you know lesson number one. Now we've already done UPI, a UPI yeah. to UPI transaction. The question is Bhim. Yeah. So explain to us how this app works, and you know, is it UPI enabled? What can you do with Bhim? So this app mm -hmm. is uh, is bank neutral. Okay. Right? So it is launched by NPCI, mm -hmm. uh, which itself is the organization behind UPI, right? So they mm -hmm. know it best. Yeah. Uh, it is available on both Android and iPhone. I'm using an iPhone right now, mm -hmm. right? So this is the, how the app looks like. As soon as I come in, it asks me for a security code, which mm -hmm. is my M PIN. So it's secure. So I enter my M PIN. Hmm. Now what I've already done is based on the phone number, hmm. uh, it has it now knows that my phone number is registered with HDFC Bank, so I can link my bank account. Okay. Yeah? So now my bank account has got linked to it. Okay. Well, it's a neutral app. Right? Okay. Now once it has got linked, hmm. now I can send money okay. to you or anyone so else. So this Beam app is linked to one of your bank accounts. It can get linked to multiple as well. Okay. Yeah. So if I have accounts with three banks, mm -hmm. I can link all three banks here. Okay. And the link yeah. being the mobile, the telephone number. The telephone number. So okay. all that is needed is my phone number should be registered with those banks. Okay. And the app itself figures out which are those banks. It will give me the options. Okay. The second thing it has done is uh, it has given me a what is called a VPA, a virtual payment address. Mm -hmm. For example, if you download Bhim, mm -hmm. you can create your own VPA using Bhim. Okay. Or you can also add your other VPA. You can also add the okay. ICICI Bank VPA to Bhim. Okay. But to that extent, it is not. Uh, hard bound to any one single thing it becomes an aggregator of sorts okay okay yeah. but once it is done now i can send money hmm. i can request for money if okay. i if someone owes me money hmm. uh, i can scan and pay so okay. soon we'll touch upon qr code yeah uh, so in that situation 
uh, I can scan mm -hmm. and automatically it will read the VPA of the merchant mm -hmm. and I can directly pay. Okay, let's let's see if, if you can uh, send me money. I can't okay. send you money. I don't have the app. So, I mean, I'll have to ask you to do a sure. token transaction. So you can send me money because I think you have the bank app. But, but I we'll, have the we'll, bank we'll app, yes. Later. Okay, yeah. So, I press send hmm. and I add your VPA. So, I don't have to remember IFSC code, branch no, code. So, like you remember all that. So, okay. I don't have to remember anything. So, if I'm the beneficiary, I just need to share my code with you. Absolutely. Which is Surabhi Upadhyay at ICICI. 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 Yeah. And then I can add, let's say I put in 10 bucks. I've said, I can add any remarks if it is for a specific purpose. Mm -hmm. Let's say we go out with friends and want to split bill. We can say, okay, it was for dinner. So, you can add the notes there. Okay. And I just say send. And it asks me for a M pin, which I've registered with my bank. So, it mm -hmm. is secure. I enter my M pin. So this is the bank MPIN. Depending on which account you're making the payment that's from, right. that's the MPIN that, that's that you're right. going to and use. And I already got a message saying the money sent. Okay, let's see if I'm getting it. Yeah, I think I have also... Yes, there we go. My uh, iMobile app, since that's where I'm registered, my iMobile app is telling me that I've got 10 rupees from Vivek. So thank you very much, Vivek. Uh, now let's talk about QR codes. Right. Again, we've done a bit of this and we've seen that some merchants uh, have these codes now pasted on their shops right. and some of them are sort of uh, taking payments through Paytm. Yeah. There are others that are linked to a bank, for instance, Correct. Access Bank, that's, that's what uh, our experience was. And then there is Bharat QR code. Right. So, confusing. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, NPCI, which also has a scheme called Rupee, hmm. along with Master and Visa have kind of come together hmm. and they've standardized a QR code called Bharat QR. Before that, what okay. used to happen was Bank A hmm. would tie with a Visa and okay. come with a QR program. Okay. Bank B would tie with a master and uh -huh. come with a program. Then what about interoperability? Absolutely. Yeah. So in that scenario, interoperability was not there. Okay. If I'm a customer of Bank A, but yes. I went to the merchant of Bank B, I can't use a QR code. But uh -huh. with Bharat QR code, across uh -huh. all banks, it has become interoperable. That's a big thing. So now is QR only limited to a payment between an individual and a merchant? No, no. It could be between, like with Bheem, for hmm. example, hmm. I can generate my own QR code. So okay. if I'm in a, as a person, I receive more money from people, okay. I can just WhatsApp my uh, QR code to you. You scan okay. it using your app and the money comes to me. So let's yeah. let's figure out how this is done. How can you generate your own QR code and then get your friend to pay up? Let's find out. Okay. I'll again use the Bheem app. Okay. And, uh, so right uh, now this is happening only through the Bheem app? It yeah. can happen without the Bheem app as well. Okay. Uh, some banks, depending on which banks are giving you the option to generate okay. a QR code. Okay. But Bheem does give you an option to generate okay. a QR code. Okay. So I go to my profile. Hmm. And I say that, and within my profile, it shows me this is my QR code. Now I can okay. share it directly from here, or I download it. Hmm. So from here, it's given me my U. This is my VPA, mm -hmm. and this is my QR code. Okay. So I can use either to okay. do this. And if you had to pay me money back now, right? So you go to your app, scan my QR code which I've sent you, and the money okay. will come to me. Okay. So this uh, is my program. I have actually received via WhatsApp, by the way. Uh, the image, which is basically uh, the QR code that Vivek has generated for himself on the Bheem app. And now using this particular uh, GIF, I simply have to take a printout and scan it. That's right. And I can I can pay you right away. Absolutely. Okay, so there's no escaping. Even or, if I don't have the VPA, I still have to pay you correct. the 10 rupees back. Yeah. In some, for example, if I have Bheem, if you had sent me your QR code, mm -hmm. so Bheem itself has an option where when I say scan and pay, hmm. it gives me an option to pick up a uh, pick up the GIF from my photographs. Okay. So I don't even have to print. All right, Vivek. So we finally figured out the basic concept of this Bharat QR code and how even individuals can make payments uh, using this particular uh, technology. We're going to take a break. And on the other side, we will deal with a different phenomena. What happens when you don't have a smartphone? For all the millions of feature phone users of the country, is there a digital payment technology they can actually look out for? We'll also get in representatives from IDFC Bank joining in on the other side to explain that to us. <laughs> 